Hello, Vinyl Community, and anyone else watching this. And yes, I am still calling it the Vinyl Community. I hope everybody out there is doing well. Hello to new subscribers. I have a couple, so uh, thanks for that. And this is going to be a recent finds video. Just the stuff I haven't shown in the last couple of recent find videos. Um, probably a little older for the most part than some of the other stuff. I categorize the other stuff a little bit. This is just what's left. It's all new vinyl though. Um, I sort of found a few sales a little bit before the holidays. Bought myself a few Christmas presents. Blah, blah, blah. So, uh, let's get started. Start with Sing Along with the Lost Straight Jackets. I love this band. Um, <laughs> Mexican wrestling masks and all. I just love this band. They're on Yep Rock Records. They do, they're a venture style surf rock kind of band. But this one is Sing Along with the Lost Straight Jackets because it has guests on every song. Um, everybody from Big Sandy to Mark Lindsay, Allison Moore, Elvez, Reverend Horton Heat. Um, Nick Lowe plays bass on Shake That Rap and covered that, which is a great song. So, really cool album. Picked this up when they kept sending me coupons, as I said last time at Barnes & Noble. Uh, Green Day's Greatest Hits, what did I say? God's Favorite Band. <laughs> Two records set, not expensive. I'm not a huge Green Day fan, but I like them enough to have a Greatest Hits and a few other albums. I like their older stuff better, so I like the Uno Duel, Uno Duel's Trays albums because they kind of went back to what they used to do, and there's mostly that on this as well. So, just having Basket Case on vinyl was worth it to me. Finally picked this up. Again, picked this up um, Christmas Eve, actually. I took a trip to Ithaca to the Barnes & Nobles there. It had 10% off vinyl, plus I had a 25% off coupon. So I got 35% off on the Rock On Tours second album. Didn't have it. Completes my Rock On Tours collection. There's only two. Uh, this is the second one. Counselors of the Lonely, of course, Jack White, Brendan Benson in this band. And two guys from the Greenhorns. Cool Jack White kind of stuff. Very happy to have. Thick album. I mean, it's a lot of. The two records set, and there's a lot going on there. Picked this up at a good price. High Noon, a 50 year retrospective update of NRBQ New Rhythm and Blues Quartet. These guys are just a really good, interesting rock and roll band. And um, they worked with all kinds of people. Carl Perkins at one point, Dave Edmonds, and Dave Edmonds stole from them, of course. Um, <laughs> she and him covered Riding in My Car, which is one of theirs. Dave Edmonds, after he produced them, we, um, covered, yeah, what he covered, Me and the Boys. Really good band. I have very little by them, a 45 and I think one other album, so very happy to grab that. I wanted this so bad when I found out it existed. Legendary Stardust Cowboy, greatest hits LP. I <laughs> love the back cover. Um, if you don't know who the Legendary Stardust Cowboy is, he started in the early, maybe even in the 50s, early 60s anyway. And um, he basically shouts. He does rockabilly, sort of, and he shouts. Um, one of his key tunes besides Paralyzed was his big uh, hit, quote unquote. There's another song called I Hate CDs, <laughs> which is pretty good. Um, legendary Stardust Cowboy. There's a little blurb if you can pause that and read it maybe. It's not too dark. Very happy to have that. The Ramones, Tommy's Last Stand. Previously unreleased 
supposedly the last show Tommy Ramone ever played with the Ramones, which is Tommy er 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 Erdell, I can never pronounce his last name. There's the track list, it's on Coda, which means it might be on colored vinyl, many Codas are. Anyway, it's a cool Ramones boot. I'm probably around 79, I'm guessing. Now this, I'd never heard of this, but um, when I saw it, I thought of a vinyl community member, and it has to be good. Naz Nomad and the Nightmares. This is the damned in disguise. Doing a fake 60s soundtrack. Soundtrack to a movie that doesn't exist, basically 60s style. And it just sounds like something that would be right up my alley. The cover's great. It looks, it looks like a 60s soundtrack. So, um, very, very cool. Naz Nomad, hello. And uh, there you go. I'm assuming this is where you got your name from. The Tiki Tone, Suburban Savage. And it's going to be exactly what it sounds like. Lounge sorts of, kind of sounds like the stuff you're listening to a little bit, but probably a little bit more loungy, instrumental type stuff on Dionysus. Should be very cool. Exotica with a beat, I'm assuming. Steve Rowe and the Dukes. Terraplane Blues. I think Blues is covered up. Might just be called Terraplane. It's an earlier Steve, uh, yeah, Steve or OLP. Um, but I've been, I, I, I'm hit and miss with Steve Earl. Actually, it's not that early. It's, <laughs> there he is there. So it's, 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 I don't know that much about him. I used to have a friend, Pete Baker in D.C., who plays guitar. If you're in the Baltimore, D.C. area, check him out. He plays almost every night. He's fantastic. He's a huge Steve Earl fan. So when I pick him up fairly cheap, I will. And I definitely want to give this a listen. You guys will know more about it than me, probably. This I saw on one of the music channels on CD. You know, they've got the radio thing going on on the Blues Channel. I didn't even know this existed. Billy Gibbons and the BFGs. Perfecto Mundo. Of course, Billy Gibbons from uh, ZZ Top. And um, it's kind of what it sounds like, but a little bit more bluesy. So like early ZZ Top. And the one track I heard, I really, really liked. You know, they do some covers. In fact, I think they do all covers. Well, pretty much maybe 50-50. I don't know. There's a track list. I think I might have heard Baby Please Don't Go, but I'm not sure. But uh, looking forward to cracking this open and uh, giving it a listen. I've not seen anybody show this, surprisingly. Had to pick this up. Got it at a really good price again. The expanded version of Mystery Girl by Roy Orbis in his last album, really. And, uh, had the original, but this is expanded with a bunch of demos. A second disc with a bunch of demos and the unreleased stuff. And, uh, this is a great album. If you don't know this album by Roy, U2 is on it. Um, pretty much Elvis Costello's on it. I think some of the Wilburys are on it. Just a great album. Of course, you got it on here, but ah, the uh, Comedians by Costello is great. She's a mystery to me. Is great. Um, yeah, she's a mystery to me. I think is the YouTube song, if I remember correctly. Bono sings out a little bit. Great album. 21st Century Movement. Now these guys were a garage band. I don't know much about them. Um, this is a reissue of their one and only album, I believe. Um, and I looked them up on YouTube and I, I liked what I heard. And I don't really remember it. You can see what they do. They do a lot of covers, a lot of beat, you know, British cover kind of stuff. 
And from what I remember, I liked them. And I uh, take a chance on it. Once in a while, I like to do that. This is an album I've seen nobody talk about on the, on the VC, and maybe I just missed it. I don't know. Maybe I'm not watching the right videos. But the Rolling Stones, on air, their uh, BBC recordings finally came out. I bought the CD, too, and um, didn't know the album was coming out, or I wouldn't have. But uh, there you go. And everything on the CD is on the album. So it's full two-record set. And, um, haven't listened to it yet, um, <laughs> but looking very forward to listening to it. I've been waiting for this to come out for a long time. There's also a companion book, but the Rolling Stones BBC recordings finally released, and it seems like it would be a big deal, and what I've heard hasn't been. Bought another copy, got it at a really good price of Surrealistic Pillow. The first reissue I got was um, a mono reissue on Sundays. This is a stereo reissue um, pressed by Friday Music. So this should be an awesome pressing. Now I've got both the stereo and the mono in really good pressing. So uh, very happy to have that. I had trouble finding this when it first came out, and then it was easy yet if you wait, like all things are. Neil Young, the Hitchhiker, got this on CD too. I'm not in love with it, as in love with it as some people are. I like it a lot. If you don't know what this album is, it's recorded in one night in 1976. Neil was high as a kite. There was only three people in the room. And, uh, <laughs> um, the original version of Powderfinger's on here, the original version of Pocahontas is on here, um, and some new songs, some kind of original version of Campaigner, and some songs that are only on this. A lot of the songs got re-recorded. It's all acoustic guitar except one song on a piano, and that's the problem with it. For me, it's just a little too one note. But other than that, I really like it. I like the performances. I really like Pocahontas. I like Potterfinger a lot too, actually. I'm a huge French pop guy. and When I can find it at a decent price, blah, blah, blah. Again, I'm all about decent price. I refuse to overspend on anything. Serge Gainsbourg. And uh, Bridget Bardot, Bonnie and Clyde. I love Serge Gainsbourg. I don't have too much on vinyl. I have more on CD. But Bonnie and Clyde is just an awesome song. And they do quite a... Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde is great on here. I'm trying to think what else I know, if anything. Bubblegum was a hit for uh, Bridget Bardot. Comic strip's good. There they are. There's a track listing if anyone cares. It's on Back to Black. This I got at a really good price. This is part of the Lee Hazelwood reissue series. When the Rainbow Disappears, the Kitchen Sink. It's a two record set. For everything they ever did, pretty much. They were a garagey kind of band. Um, again, Lee ha uh, put out by Light in the Attic on Lee Hazel's label, Re Lee Hazel Woods label originally, and uh, this is 65 to 68. Again, this is a heavy, heavy record, and I look forward to delving into this as well. Love Lee Hazelwood's productions. I don't know how much he actually had to do with this, but uh, very cool. Another one I looked up, and I mean, I just love the cover. The Wheels, Roadblock. I'm thinking these guys are German, but maybe they're not. I don't know where they're from. But I was <laughs> look at these guys. Again, this is another one that I heard clips from, and I really liked it. Um... There's your track listings. 
And uh, there they are again. I mean, I love the guy in the wig. <laughs> Clearly a wig. And then there's a bald guy who ought to maybe be wearing a wig. I don't know. But just interesting record. And again, I was in a mood for some garage I'd never heard. So, went for that. Speaking of cheap, we got two here. George Harrison, the latest reissue of his Gone Tropo, Tropo, how you pronounce it, LP. Um, got this and the next one for around 10 bucks a piece. And when you're talking like that for new George Harrison vinyl, pressed in Germany. There's your sticker. Can't pass it up. Yeah, I also got somewhere in England. Same deal. So, uh, very happy to have these reissues in my collection. Another one, The Beautiful Losers. More obscure. This one, I think, might be a garage site kind of thing. Gosh, I'm suddenly dark. Why am I so dark? There we go. Oh. <laughs> anyway, I looked this up and I liked it and I it was so long ago now that I don't remember much about it. It's number 282 of 300. They only pressed 300 of these. So, um... Well, this is later. This is 1975. Again, I looked this up it's so long ago. There's what it's all about for anybody that cares to read that. And last but not least, nothing is as odd to me, but yet as cool somehow, as Japanese rockabilly. So we've got Ednan Offman. Berkshire, but this guy is actually Malaysian more than Japanese, but still Asian rockabilly. There's just something about it. There's a guy called Rockin' and Naki that I absolutely love. He's in Jackie and the Cedrics as well as records on his own. But anyway, there's uh, <laughs> Ednan, and uh, this is a two record set. I picked it up pretty cheap, and it just looked like the most interesting record in the world. <laughs> so, uh, me and Ford Records get along really, really well. So that's it. That's the last of my stay. Recent vinyl finds for now. <laughs> Hopefully there won't be any more for a little while. Um, I'm finally caught up on that. Thank you all for watching. Hope everybody is well. It was 4 degrees yesterday here. It was 40 today. So, weather-wise, we're, we're getting better. <laughs> that was just odd. Anyway, I hope everybody's doing well. Check out my podcast, snapcracklepop.podomatic.com. And I'll be back in a little bit with hopefully my last thrift store finds video for a while. Thanks for watching. Take care, everybody. And um, see you in a few minutes.